Howdy everyone, my name is Griffin Furlong. I'm a professional engineer and in today's video, I'm going to help you prepare for the FE exam. The FE exam is the fundamentals of engineering exam. The FE exam is your first step to becoming a professional engineer. The exam is 110 questions, it is a six hour long test. Now that six hours includes the non-disclosure agreement, the tutorial, and the scheduled break. So in reality, you only have about five hours and 20 minutes. So if you break that down, you have about 320 minutes to complete 110 problems. So if you do that math, you have roughly three minutes per problem. And keep in mind that the FE exam is a computer aided test, meaning you need to go to an NCES approved vendor. It's usually a Pearson VUE test center. Now the exam does cost money. It is $175. Now that we know the general nature of the test, let's dive into some key items you will need to pass the FE exam. The first thing that I'll tell students is you need to download the reference manual right from NCES.org. This reference manual is free and it is the one that you will be using on the test. When you receive that reference manual, understand where to look for certain formulas. Some questions will be as easy as just pulling directly from the manual. I think there are about 10 questions where all I had to do was control 9 and find the equation and plug it in. Not saying that your exam is going to be like that, but you never know. The number two thing that you need to do is you need to identify the majority of the questions. What kind of topics are they going to be asking? I highly suggest when you first start studying, you want to study all of the stuff that you are very strong in and then save the subjects where you're weak in for the later rounds. That way all of your weakest subjects stays really fresh for you. We'll be looking at an example breakdown here for the civil PE. Now the majority of questions appears to be from mathematics and statistics, statics, mechanics of materials, water resources and environmental engineering, structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, transportation, and construction. So pretty much everything that you've learned in civil. Only a few problems on the ethics and professional practice and engineering economy. So don't kill yourself reviewing all these different topics. You know, really study the bulk and identify what you are strong at and what you're weak at. Now, what I will say is that the FE exam should be a review for you. Hopefully you have paid enough attention in college to understand the very basics of these problems. This test is not meant to trick anyone. You're not going to be in between three different answers. There's going to be one answer that's the clear cut. And that's at least based on my experience. My number three biggest piece of advice is you definitely want to purchase a practice test from the NCES website. Now I'm looking on the NCES website right now and it looks like an FE civil practice exam is about $34.95. Now one thing I'll strongly suggest is you definitely want to get a, another sort of practice book because you need a variation of problems. You don't just want to study one thing. So I highly suggest going on Amazon, finding another review book and studying from that too. I found one on Amazon a while back and I actually thought it was quite more difficult than the NCES. I think the NCES practice exam is a little easy on, in my opinion. Number four really important thing, and this goes with actually taking the test and what's gonna be on the exam. Definitely early on, you need to get in the habit of timing yourself. I think what's best is always trying to put yourself in a testing environment. This is coming from a professional engineer who has passed the FE exam and the PE exam. The PE exam is way harder. The exam, you definitely have to focus on your time management because you only have so many minutes to complete all the problems. I was going all the way up until the last second with the PE exam. Now for the FE, if you're able to focus heavily on that first section and complete it in a very quick time, you can use all of that leftover time in the second section. I would definitely try to avoid using all of the time in the first section. Unless, you know, you truly need it and you're hammering down to the wire, but that's why you know I've made this video is because we are preparing for the FE exam. What you are going to want to do two to three weeks prior to the exam is make sure that you can fly through that section one. Again, any time that you have remaining on section one, you can use in section two. To put into perspective, I completed the first section with two hours to spare. I was able to use that two hours on the second half of the test, which that second half of the test I thought was way harder. The first section was more just like basic statics, mathematics. I mean, I think my first three problems were just doing derivatives and it was like a derivative of X squared, you know, 
simple stuff that we should know at this point. The statics questions aren't meant to kick your butt. They're really just basic. You're not gonna solve some long 10 step problem with shear force diagrams and moment diagrams. Now, I know I said that you need to speed through the first section, but what I will say is when you speed through this, accuracy is the most important. You want these problems to be right. So don't just speed through it for no reason. Speed through it with a purpose. Get into the study habit mode weeks early before the exam and put yourself in that testing environment. Put yourself through that stress so right when you're at the test, you will be prepared. Think of it as a game. Think of it as a big match that you're playing against. Preparation is key in this exam. And just a couple of bonus tips, just make sure that you bring the right calculator. It's written right there on the website. And don't be that guy that shows up with the TI-84 with all the graphing capabilities because you will have a bad time. Now, if you do forget a calculator, they do have a calculator online, like in the testing environment, but I just, I don't think you're gonna be very productive with it. Also, like I said, this is a computer-based test, so just make sure you know where you're going for exam. Make sure that you have a clear outline before the test, know how to get there, eat a good breakfast before, get some good night's sleep, you know, all the basic stuff. Last but not least, if you fail, it is not the end of the world. Many people fail this test and many people fail the PE even multiple times. It will be okay. At least you went through it and now you know and are prepared for the next time. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys learned something new and I hope this video helps any student who is preparing for the FE exam. If you're a student about to take the test, comment below and tell me what test you are taking. That's all I got for today. Peace out.